and welcome back to Movie Monster Matchups. In this week's episode, we will be deciding between who would win in a battle, Anton Chigurh from No Country for Old Men, or the Joker from The Dark Knight. So this is a hard thing to decide on, because both characters here are extremely dangerous and effective at the same time. So I'll start off by saying why I wouldn't want to be on Anton Chigurh's shit list. From a mental perspective, this man is basically the personification of death. Once he decides you are fated to die, there really is no getting out alive. He has no remorse and considers people to essentially be cattle, which is exemplified by his use of a cattle gun to eliminate many of his victims. He's also extremely methodical, basically allowing for no distractions and not really seeming to even think about anything outside of his task at hand until it's completed. This is because he follows a strict code, one that makes him an agent of fate, which could make him very effective in some ways against the Joker, but I think maybe less so in others. He doesn't like to kill innocents. So when they get in his way, he'll generally leave their destiny up to a coin toss. So he does have at least some skewed sense of morality in that way. The Joker, on the other hand, though, has no morals and no code of ethics at all, except for that chaos must reign supreme. If Shigur was hiding in a hospital or an airport, the Joker would have no problem burning down the entire place and killing everyone inside just to get him. That's pretty messed up. Therefore, in the brains category, I'll be giving the Joker a 9 out of 10, and Anton Shigur a 7 out of 10. So if we're talking strength and battle skills alone, this is where Shigur really catches up. The Joker can plan craziness and use whatever weapons he wants, but when it comes down to physical combat or actually shooting, he's not nearly as effective as Shigur. Anton Shigur can kill people with his bare hands, he pretty much never misses, he's just somebody you don't want chasing you down, we'll just put it that way. But the thing is, the Joker doesn't really try to compete in that area, he kind of tries to have his traps set and have other things going on, but if you did get it down to that point, he'd be in trouble. So for this category, Shigeru's going to take it, hands down, with an 8 out of 10. And the Joker, I'll give a 5 out of 10. And the last category is their badass abilities. So for this one, since they're both human, I'm going to say that their abilities, in my opinion, come down to what specific talents and weapons they use. Shigeru has some very interesting things in this department. He generally carries with him this thing called a captive bolt stunner. So it not only surprises his victims when he kind of walks up to him and just blows out the brains out of nowhere. It actually can blow out locks too, so he can just get into places. He's also extremely adept at using his shotgun and his pistol. He also has medical skills to heal himself when he's injured. For this category, the Joker's best thing would be his proclivity to manipulation and strategic partnerships. The thing is, Shigur always works alone. But the Joker, he has no problem starting up a gang or manipulating others to serve him. So that would be a huge advantage, because Shigeru's going to have to go through like 50 of his goons just to kill him. He's also very good at rigging up explosives and traps, which, obviously, Shigeru's not going to see that coming. He's just going to be walking and all of a sudden explode. And the last thing about his special abilities would be his extremely high pain tolerance. I mean, this guy has a higher pain tolerance than any other human I've ever seen. He basically asks people to beat his ass. It's really weird. And the other thing is, he does not care about dying. At the end of the Dark Knight, he literally falls off a building and he is laughing hysterically on his way down. It's just nuts. There's really nothing more dangerous than a man with nothing to lose. So in this category, I'm going to give the Joker the win. I gave him a 10 out of 10. And Shigeru, I gave an 8 out of 10. Because, I mean, he's still extremely skilled, but, I mean, how are you going to go up against a guy who basically doesn't care if he flies off a building? He's crazy. So, in the end, that just barely put the Joker on top for this match, giving him a 24 and Anton Shigur a 23. And, uh, as always, folks, if you like this video, go ahead and crush that like button for me, as well as subscribing to the channel for future updates. Also, head on over to my Patreon if you want to request a future matchup. Alright, see you next time, guys, and stay spooky, my friends.